Hello, I'm ABX Toycat, and welcome back to another feature preview. Feature previews are a weekly series I run on my channel where I show you features that are going to be included in the next big update for Minecraft Xbox and Minecraft PlayStation. I can do this by showing you PC gameplay of the equivalent update, which we know is 1.8 for the PC, which means you can see how the feature looks, you can see how it actually behaves, and you can see all these things about it before it does come to the console and be prepared for the next big update ahead of time. So today we're focusing on the slime block, and I very much appreciate a like on the video if you do like it, because it helps out the channel a lot. And let's know you do like it. I want to see more stuff like this on the channel, but let's get straight into it already, shall we? We're quickly starting uh, by explaining exactly what the slime block is and how you get it. Because looking at this thing, it is a very cool looking block, but you might anticipate, because it does look like there's a slime in there, that you get it from like, I don't know, a silk touch sword killing a slime or just a rare chance drop of a slime. That's not actually how this works at all. The uh, slime block is actually like the block of redstone, the block of gold orb, you know, the hay bale, anything like that where you take nine minerals and put them together because the slime block is actually just nine slime balls put together. So kill nine slimes on average and you'll end up with nine slime balls put them in a crafting table like so in the very inventive recipe of just nine just filling up the whole thing and boom you'll get yourself the block of slimes also known as the slime block so yeah this slime block is very very unique because it has a bunch of different purposes uh two of which are you know one's very fun one's very practical we'll start with the more fun one because it's very very cool so the first one is for parkour using because when you land on a slime block it has two very unique characteristics that no other block has combined and no block really has one of these anyway and that is first of all that it'll remove any full damage so if you fall from four blocks or above, usually you take full damage. Let me just show you on the ground here. Boom, that's going to hurt me a full heart. But if we land on the slime block, even though it should hurt us half a heart, it's not going to hurt us at all. And uh, yeah, that's cool. And the second thing you'll notice, as you just saw me do there, is when you land on a slime block, it actually reflects some of the downwards pressure into an upwards motion. So that means it's kind of like jumping on a trampoline in that, you know, you just keep on bouncing, bouncing, bouncing until you eventually stop. It's really, really cool because it means that some of that, you know, downwards momentum can be converted back upwards. And it means you can do cool stuff like this, where if you can land on the slime block properly anyway, uh, you can use it to it without having to actually jump on blocks you can make say bounce from that straight onto that and so on and so forth imagine this of higher distances and you get some cool stuff going on so uh yeah the lack of full damage is cool the amount of bouncing is cool but if you use this with extremes like if we're up here for instance where you can be like ah oh, that's a long way down you can use it to guarantee you just won't take full damage and do cool stuff like this where you're like oh am i gonna land and boom you jump right in the air like that there is a max the high how you can actually go but still it's really really cool to instead of dying place a slime block and then go up that sky high and i think that's quite cool personally so yeah that is uh, one of the uses of slime block you can keep one in your inventory and then if you're falling you can just bounce it back down the ground or you can just keep them surrounded around your base so if you start falling you can just make sure you land in one and then boom so let's just do that again because it's super fun uh you just go flying down and then uh, you're gonna land on the slime block so yeah you can do a bunch of really cool stuff with this particular bounce and you can see just how fast um if i go in third person here just how fast the kind of trampoline effect ends because it takes a lot of your momentum away even though some of it goes up a lot of it doesn't and there is a max which means eventually you will always go to a standstill so you can't rely on being the air all the time and uh, yeah, that's that right there. So the second purpose they have is a redstone oriented one. So, you know, it's a cool block for parkour. It's a cool block for landing on stuff. But because of the way that it works in, you know, in interaction with redstone, it does some cool stuff. So here's a very basic example where we just have two pistons permanently pushing each other because uh, even though you can do this with redstone blocks right now this means that you can have a slime block in there and actually attach other blocks to it so if we want to make it move uh, this uh, you know this dirt block over and over again it actually move constantly over and over again which is something cool you can do before because you need to have the uh, power source if you want to make it loop, move platforms around you can totally do that which means you know uh, the, the potential for this is kind of crazy when you just consider like oh you can make like uh, amazing weird doors that are going to open shut rapidly and without needing to use like a lot of redstone because uh, you can actually try and run through this if you want to it's, it's kind of dangerous I wouldn't recommend it that's the thing you can do you can make platforms which are always moving around the sky or one of the cooler purposes I mentioned that uh, in one of my Q&A SAS days is that you can actually use it to kind of make um, something like this where basically what it's going to go ahead and do is it's actually going to work like a plane and just perpetually move itself so we place the redstone block there and then we move this uh, we move a few blocks away from this so it actually activate uh, I think we actually have to, have to activate this for another redstone block. But yeah, basically, if you do this, then we'll actually happen. Uh, so I guess, yeah, we, we need to activate this for redstone block. So let's just go quickly into creative because I, I used up the one uh, block to fit a thing. thing. We we're going to creative when we activate a redstone block here. You'll see as soon as we get this contraption going, because this is made up of a piston, a slime block, a sticky piston, a, a piston, and then a slime block, then redstone on top to keep powering it. What will actually happen as soon as you power it is the thing will just go on and on forever, which means if we can get on this thing, which we can because we're in creative, 
then you can see this actually functions kind of like a ship. This is a very, very basic. This is the most basic version of it. But you can see, uh, imagine you can kind of like attach this to stuff and boom, you kind of make yourself a ship which is always moving. And I think that's really, really cool personally. I think the fact that you can kind of just do this is uh, kind of mind boggling. And uh, yeah, like I said, it, it can be turned into airships or you can just leave it by itself. You can treat it kind of like a missile where it's just going to keep on going and going and going. Because like I said, as long as you're loaded near the chunks of this thing and it's nearby, it's just going to go and go and go and go. And uh, uh, we'll, we'll come back to that at the end of the episode so you can see just how far it's come. But that's how cool this stuff is. This is a basic example. You can make massive contraptions which fly through the air like that. You can make a car if you want to that just keeps on going along the ground and does its own thing. That's the coolness of the slime block to me. The fact that it is a cool block to jump on. It's a cool block for parkour. But it's also a cool block for redstone contraptions because of the fact that it moves blocks along with it. It kind of, uh, you know, extends the purpose of pistons way, way further because, you know, if you, you can keep, you know, the, the power source, the redstone block, it's kind of cool before this, but now you can make a moving power source and you can also make moving blocks to go along with that. And I think that's just incredibly cool if you ask me. So yeah, uh, these are just two very basic uses of it. You can use this for amazing stuff like uh, an anvil launcher. You can use it for stuff like, um, you know, massive planes. You can just make missiles. You can attach TNT to this thing and make it detonate at specific points. Uh, I've seen Missile Wars as one of the game modes you can make this. There's so many cool things you can do by using this and I just think that's pretty great personally. So yeah, that is um, the slime block. Awesome block to jump on, awesome block for redstone, and let's just head over here so you can see, I started it over there, I didn't touch it ever since, and boom, it's actually going to end up, oh, is it going to hit the tree? I think it's going to hit the tree, but uh, yeah, it, even though uh, in spite of that, the only thing that could stop it is this tree. Or at least seemingly. Well, we'll see what happens here, just in case you're curious. So yeah, I hope you did all enjoy the <laughs> video. <laughs> exactly, that's why the slime blocks are awesome. Because I, I wasn't anticipating it go through two blocks there. So yeah, the slime blocks are awesome because, um, you know, they, they allow you to do stuff like this and have a, a fortress which is able to go through trees. As long as you move with it, as we're going to just do here, you can see we're just going to have an awesome little thing like this. And imagine doing this in console right now. Uh, obviously, it's going to require a lot of optimization to probably work in console. Uh, but yeah, that is um, the, the slime block. Uh, I, I think it's... It's great. Let me know what you uh, think is better. Do you think the parkour use is better so you can use it to, you know, take no full damage? Or do you prefer making stuff like planes? Let me know in the comments down below. And other than that, let me know what you'll see in other feature previews because I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you all for watching. Have a nice day and goodbye.